Joined now by Fintan O'Connor of Kilmallock. Fintan, it's going to be very difficult trying to describe that one. Yeah, look, I suppose it was just a real battle. Um, in fairness to doing, they brought unbelievable fight to it. And, and um, in fairness, we, we just got a bit of a look at, look at the end there with uh, Rob Egan with the goal. So, um, look, we knew this time of year, conditions, you have to dig it out. And uh, in fairness to the two teams, um, they just dug it out in the conditions and, and really gave... I know the quality might have been brilliant, but the, the effort and the application by both teams is unreal. And um, hopefully... Um, Josh Ryan actually is, is went off injured there, and I think that was just down to down to the condition. So hopefully he's he's okay, you know. You know, you're deep deep into injury time. It looks bad for you. It looks very bad for you. That it's it's it's, it's the end of the year, and all of a sudden Robbie Egan pops up. But all year you've made a big big point of using your bench. You've used a lot of players throughout the championship, and it's paid off massively today. Yeah, look, in fairness, it was it was just a pure like roll the dice, try and get lads on to change it. It wasn't that anyone was. It just wasn't happening for some lads with the with the weather and the conditions. And look, I think we were six points down at one stage during the second half, and it took a real effort out of the lads to dig deep and get us over the line. And look, semi finals. It's it's not. I said it to the lads during the week. It's not about how you win. It's just about winning and getting over the line. And look, we would have took a point this morning. Uh, we would have took your hand off for it. So look, we're delighted. You're, you're two seventy-eight points down, Vincent. You know, were you thinking at that, that stage you needed a goal to get into it, or what yeah, was the feeling? yeah. Look, if, in fairness, we probably did need a goal, but if Conor Hanley had nailed all the frees, we would have we would have been fine without the goal. But uh, in fairness to me, he, he done well when he came on too. And look, um, as you said, it probably was going to take a goal to get us get us over the line, and it just came at the right time for us. In fairness. Without looking back through rain sudden notes, you probably scored seven of the last eight scores, and you know down the home stretch. I suppose that's what you want. Yeah, look, momentum is, I suppose, is a thing, and we, we just seem to get the momentum at the right time, and you you, you kind of want to get the momentum towards the end of the game in the last ten or fifteen minutes, huh? and we signed. Look, we were very slow start, and um, uh, we we played a couple of matches. I heard um, the Boylan talking about for an appearance of yesterday after their game. We just seem to be very slow start, even though we've, we've kind of talked about it, we've played a lot of matches, we've done everything to be right. Um, but it's just you can't be prepared for, for that kind of intensity that Doom brought. And they were, in the first 20 minutes, they were all over the field in fairness to them. So, look, I'm just delighted to get out of here with a win. In terms of the conditions, Fenton, I mean, have you been involved in anything personally? Uh, <laughs> I was down in Killarney in the snow one day with Kerry, but apart from that, um, it was no look this time of year you're going to get any any kind of conditions but um, it was in fairness to both sets of players it was it was a very hard game to play out there for them I, some of the lads are inside and they're freezing so how they can hold the hurley or catch a ball and and I was giving out when they dropped it and giving out when they made a mistake and then when I walked across the pitch I was like Joe, you know, you'd have to understand where they made the odd mistakes and, and both teams made mistakes and I suppose we just got a tiny bit of luck at the end that was the only difference you know it wasn't really a day for tactics or for anything like that. It was just about grinding out the victory. Yeah, just about sheer will to win. And in fairness to doing, they, they matched it uh, to say it was us all the way along. And it was just, as I said, Robbie Egan kicking the, kicking the ball over the line or a push over try or whatever it was. And uh, um, look, we're just delighted to get out, get out of here with a win. Finally against Napiersic, will the appetite of many? Yeah, look, Napiersic, I suppose, put on a, a serious display yesterday as well. And, and I'm sure they'll go in justifiable favourites in a couple of weeks time but look um, again it'll be two weeks trying to get ready for it and, and get right for it and, and um, the Pierce are, are a serious serious team so um, we'll be under no illusions what we have to do in a couple of weeks